upload section for the signature and photo and uh, here you can go through the uploading photo specification i'll show you a simple way to make sure that uh, it matches with the requirement for the photo specification you click here and this is the sample photo they have given the size has to be 2 inch by 2 inch 51 mm by 51 mm and they have given how the background has to look they have also given the do's and don'ts so make sure you don't take photos like this and uh, it is clearly visible so they have given the sample what is the correct one you can go and read this document and how to check if this matches the required specification like this for this what you can do is you can come to this tool the link is in the description this tool canva once you create a design and custom size you see here here you can add the width and height right now it's in pixel if you make it in inch okay you remember two inch by two inch you can create a new design or if it is in mm 51 by 51 mm so once you create a new design this is the size of the photo what is required all you need to do is bring your photo and drop it here so once you drop it you see here this is how you can just make sure that the size matches if you have taken from professional photo studio they will give this dimension and you can just come and verify the dimension this way you will get to know that this is the size which is as per the requirement and then you can go and just download this download as jpeg so this is one way to make sure it is foolproof also to make sure that this is not larger than 500 kb how you can check once you come to the photo right this is the photo you see here it shows 200 kb which is less than what is given as maximum so it is good even if you find that this is on a higher side there is one more trick all you need to do is open this in paint and in paint you have this selection here resize or skew so here you can just reduce the percentage instead of 100 you make it 50 and when you make this 50 and save it the size also reduces this way you will get the desired size however when you download with canva it will give you a compressed form and uh, i'm sure the size will not exceed so this is one way to make sure that everything matches with the requirement the photo and the signature has to be in jpeg format make sure when you're downloading it is in jpeg format and when it comes to the signature the ratio has to be in 1 is to 3 ratio height and width again to do this we can go to canva in canva create a new design custom size the size will be 3 is to 3 will be the width and 1 will be the height and here i have kept inch then you create a design now you see this is the signature box which will give you that 1 is to 3 ratio and again now all you do is bring your signature so here you can do a signature on a piece of paper you can take photo through your mobile camera or if you have a scanner you can scan that and then bring this signature here like this so this is it right now in 3 is to 1 ratio and you see the signature you just need to make it to that ratio ensuring that the signature remains within without crossing this line what i mean by crossing is when you take this this is how it should not be so make sure the signature is well within this range and uh, now you can download this as jpeg here you go download and then jpeg so once you download this is your 3 is to 1 ratio what is required the photo and signature both are as per requirement we have made sure it is as per requirement and then yes i am ready with the image here you upload the photo once you upload you also have an option to crop here okay right now we made this with canva so exactly the dimension matches if it is not matching you have an option to crop here once you click here see crop you can just drag and drop so that way it gets adjusted and it shows the image the one which will get seen here and this is what comes on your oc card so once the crop selection is done you just keep that and then you come to applicant signature section and upload you can see here again the dimension matches so there is no need to crop if you feel like you need to crop you can click here so you can see here it says applicant signature which you have selected is as per instruction if you want to change then click crop button and drag the white selection area or else directly upload the original image so if you want to crop this you can click here 
and then you can drag it if you want. This is something which can be done. Once this is done, just click upload. The image has been uploaded, your photo and signature, which will come on your OCR card. This is how it will be. So you'll be able to say this part. Now, this temporary application ID along with this, you also note down your file reference number. So anytime you are coming back, you will be able to start from where you left. Here, you have option to upload this photo again and uh, signature also you can upload again in case you want. If you don't want to upload again, I have uploaded successfully. Click here. So anytime you have to upload a document, this has to be in a PDF file and uh, there is a maximum size limit as I showed. You can change the size limit the way I had showed uh, previously for the photo. However, to make a PDF document, come to file and here you can create a custom size. So the typical A4 size is uh, make it 11 inch by 14 inch. So you now know that typically this is how the page will be. And then what you do is your document image. If you have taken that on a phone, that document image, you drag and drop. So once that is done, you can just adjust and you will be able to see that the image what you have pasted here is clear or not. Make sure it is clear and then you can keep adding the page and dropping other document. For example, now we have these three documents. Okay. So once this is there, go to share and here when you download, you have to select PDF standard. So this is the one which can be used for sending email. Once you select this and you download, see this is the downloaded the image and this is 259. KB, which is well within the requirement. Once we open this, this is the document. So you can keep adding as many as page and make it into PDF this way.